What's going on guys? Sean Gutierrez back with another video. Guys, today I want to bring something to your attention uh, that I got sent to me last night. It's going to be a quick little topic. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to start doing these guys. If you guys have something you want me to touch on that's a little quick uh, topic that I can drop some knowledge on, please go DM it to me on Instagram. Leave a comment on one of my videos. Um, just something I can throw together a little quick video, five to seven minutes, uh, and give you guys a breakdown on. But anyways, let's get into this one. Alright guys, so today I wanted to do this video. Uh, I received an email last night and uh, I want to start off by saying guys that uh, in no way in this video am I accusing anybody of anything. None of this is factual. It's just I want to bring it to your attention, get some feedback from you guys on what you guys think and give you some knowledge of, of, of my experiences and what I think. So I received an email last night. There is a class action lawsuit going on in the state of California uh, against uh, Hattori Hanzo Shears. And so basically what happened is a stylist there and I'm not sure really how it came up but a stylist there did some research and she has some accusations against the Tori Hanzo company and basically guys what they're saying is that using the terms Japanese steel the same steel they made samurai swords with Hattori Hanzo name is like an ancient Japanese name basically using all those names they portrayed that they're using this great quality uh, the best you can get Japanese steel and it's definitely all over their marketing and basically what they're saying is that the the shears are actually not from Japan uh, and they're from China and so from what I read uh, when asked Hanzo claims that they're assembled in China at a factory but the parts are from Japan so again guys I'm not uh, I'm not accusing or I'm not saying any of this is factual this is just what I read I just want to kind of bring it up and talk to you guys about it but basically so so what they're saying is that the shears are actually made in China for for somewhere around a dollar a piece uh, which is really crazy and that's really why I'm doing this guys I want to bring up my shears show you guys what I got and what the prices were my thoughts guys I'm not really sure if it's true or not per me personally I have um, three people I consider uh, good friends that work for Hanzo. It was my first pair of shears I got. I, I was definitely sold on them. And I'll say that they're they're great shears. I don't really have anything to complain about. But what I will say is, uh, obviously everything's marked up, guys. So what the clipper costs the company to make and what they sell it to you for is is an absolute different number, right? And, and I'll tell you guys, I watch Shark Tank a lot. People come on Shark Tank uh, and they'll tell that they sell, you know, hey, I, I sell uh, barber capes. Okay, well, what are you selling for? Oh, well, they're $59.99. Okay, well, what do you make them for? Uh, I make them for $5.99. So 10% of what it sells for a lot of times is what the company pays to make it. Now you gotta understand there's other things in that overhead. They have to pay for the building. They have to pay for the employees. Um, so some of that comes in that profit and that's of course how you make profit. But if we're talking about Hanzo's being 60 cents, I have a list right here I'm gonna go through. All right guys, so this is my Hanzo HHV Mamba, regular shear, six and a half shear. Guys, I paid $1,066. Now that's the price on the website right now. I think I actually paid 1,200. So $1,200 for this, this is my main cutting shear. And again, no complaints. I love this shear, it works very well. Um, let's see what's next. My HH8 Talon, seven and a half inch shear was $734. This is the HH40T 42 thinning shear. It was $548. And last, my VT1 that they just told me I had to have. This is a wide tooth, skip tooth shear. Um, it was $673. So I'm just loosely glancing at that, guys. I got about $3,000 in shears. So yeah, if I paid $3,000 for those shears and they paid $4 for the total of four of them, uh, you know, I, I would feel a little bit cheated. And like I said, guys, this is not 100% true. These are just allegations that have been brought up, but definitely has me thinking when I have $4,000 in shears sitting in my station to know that maybe they potentially cost four bucks is, is kind of sad. So in my shop, guys, we probably have $30,000 worth of, of all Hattori Hanzos in here. Uh, and that's what I'll say, guys, is um, if any of you guys have ever seen them at the shows, they're very persuasive. I actually kind of had, you know, I honestly, I have some, um, some negative feelings about the company at this point in my career. Like I said, I do have some friends that work for them. They're great people. And I do believe that if this is what's going on, 
uh, my guys would be sad to know that that's what they've been representing this whole time. Um, and again, I don't know if it's true or not, but you know, if I if I paid four thousand uh, and it cost them four dollars, I'm upset. Uh, and I will say, when you see them at the shows, and you guys chime in if you've heard this, but the very first show I saw them at, I remember them saying, "Listen, we we never do deals, we don't do discounts, we don't do anything. Um, but if you guys buy them today, we'll give you ten percent off." Well, I went and bought them, and then they came and they did a class in my shop, and they said, "Guys, we don't do deals, but if you buy them today, you get ten percent off." And then I went to the next show. And they said, hey, we never do discounts. Never, ever, ever. But today, if you buy them, you'll get 10% off. Now, I will say, guys, that the payment plans that they offer with the no credit check, um, that is definitely a good deal for, for people that can't save up and buy something like Mizutani. Um, but again, if they paid a dollar or even $50 for that pair of shears and you make one payment of $100, they're already winning. So. Maybe that's why the uh, payment plans are so uh, without the credit check and all that. So again, guys, I'm not accusing anybody. I'm just telling you my thoughts on it. Um, I will also say that uh, in the bigger cities, uh, they have reps that come around to your shops uh, and do your sharpenings and do the trade-ins. And uh, we have yet to have a rep here uh, since I bought my shears. So I've had them probably going on three, maybe four years. Uh, and I I've had the guy come twice. There's somebody who's reached out to us twice in four years. Um, to sharpen them so anyways guys I don't know I, honestly uh, I think if it comes out that this is true I won't be surprised uh, I hope that it's not like I said I do I do like my shoes very much they work well I've had them a long time they haven't broke uh, so I can genuinely say that I don't um, I don't really feel ripped off uh, but if it comes out that they paid 60 cents for these then, then I'm gonna be a little upset uh, but really guys, I just wanted to bring this topic up for those of you who haven't seen it, get some feedback from you guys. If you guys have heard anything about this, what has your experience been? What shears do you use? Uh, and I'll say this guys, I used to use some, uh, some Ulster shears from Sally's that were $40 uh, and they were absolutely terrible. So my Hanzo's are really good. So I'm not sure how much I believe the, the truth hundred percent or how much I believe the, uh, the, the cost and all the accusations. Um, but I will say guys, I, I have a little bit of, uh, I'm a little bit unhappy in my experience over these, uh, four years. Like I said, I feel a little misled, um, when they sell them, they act like you get free sharpening for life. Uh, you do have to pay for that every time. Um, and like I said, they told us we'd have a rep personally that comes to our shop, you know, every other month and can swap out and get them sharpened and, and that hasn't happened. Uh, and so, yeah, if it comes out that my, my $4,000 worth of shears are, uh, worth four bucks i'm gonna be a little upset but anyways guys i just wanted to get your feedback uh let me know what you guys think about that have you guys heard about that especially you guys in california is that something that's being sent out um, i do think it's interesting guys but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it brought some knowledge to you guys i just wanted to bring some topics up again guys we can't cut hair right now so uh if you guys like these little short videos i'm gonna start throwing them together uh you guys shoot me some topics that you want to see so comment on this video you know just something i can answer in a five to ten minute video just like this without doing a lot of work i can just sit down shoot you guys some content and uh, throw it out for you so you guys leave me some feedback leave me some comments uh if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and uh Stay tuned for some more content, guys. Next up is my self-cut challenge, so make sure you check it out. But anyways, guys, we'll catch you next time. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure you click this link right here. If you wanna check out some more content from me, check out this video right here. Appreciate it.